I'm Fred Moth, and basically um, a pseudonym created for me to be able to step out of my usual British personality and be a bit bit wilder in the world of sound. It's been a cool mix of imagery. Um, for this project I wanted to uh, look at some, some global concepts, some global issues and and um, and so I I kind of looked at lots of kind of satellite based photography or photography to do with flight. Um, and yeah I think you know the the project as a whole works really well because um, we 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 did attempt to focus it onto themes and kind of the lyrics suggest ideas about this theme. So it's it's got quite a narrative side to the project as well, which I think is um, makes it absorbable in a different way. I think that track has to be communication. Um, something I'm really happy with purely because I've not really reached. I've always been looking for a certain sound and a warmth to my songs, and that's really just hit the nail on the head for me. Um, probably the reason why, um, there's a few reasons why, but one of them is bringing in people like um, Helen Jenner, who's the flute player, who could echo off the voice, which was by Rory Nunn. Um, and also got in Guy John Pierce, who's the violin player, local Bristolian violin player. Um, and um, obviously the main man, or the modulator by the wetlands on bass. My opinion is like strictly gun for hire. I'm doing what Tom tells me. He knows best, and it's better to just do the fundamentals and do them really well, like play the note, lock it down, like that kind of George Porter meters approach, where they're the muted drummer in Zigaboo Mode at least, and then George Porter was just holding it all together, keep it you know, on the beat, rock solid. I think it's really interesting how how it came together because all of this uh, project so far, I've produced in Tokyo and all of the music has been produced in Bristol and it's all taken place through FTP and uh, sharing files online. The message that it pervades as well is is the unsurety of when you're communicating with somebody where I've, I've had a few things especially with girlfriends where you're um, you send them a text meaning one thing and they read it exactly the same words but take it completely differently. And so even writing something down can be confusing for somebody, just if you don't put the right punctuation mark somewhere, or if you don't, or if they've got a pre preconceived idea of what what they think about something. Let's not forget what this meant. I wrote it down so you could read it. Will you remember? But now the other track that was really kind of special for me, we titled Overpopulation. Mm. And and the, I really love the kind of Brazilian rift and kind of electronic mix going on in that. That's really special. Um, but yeah, just conceptually for me, that track was more, you know, trying to confront some of these um, issues of deforestation and pollution through, through one track. And... Um, Present it in an entertainment format just to help people to think about those kind of subjects as well and um, maybe suggest some solutions or even to show that you know problems are actually getting better um, you know with changes recently so it's to bring hope as well as to make people think and that track was one of the first that we put together and that helped um, influence the style of some of the other tracks on the EP and, and what will become the album as well so Rather than the standard, you know, screen behind you setup that you see with a lot of bands and performances, we wanted to design a, a visual system for for this project to be presented. Uh, 
moments. Fred Moff to really be a 11 piece band with a, with a plethora of, of uh, instruments and vocals. Um, and I feel like I'm starting to get more of a voice now and I want, want to perform to, uh, to people and be able to be able to express um, what I'm feeling in words as well as in, in soundscapes and, and melodies. And He does lots of different styles of music and it's, it's, you can't nail it down to one thing. It's kind of, he, his foundations are in kind of rock and blues, but then from there he's uh, encompasses lots of styles like folk and gypsy music. Of all Tom's stuff he composes, he has a very organic element to it somehow. Even if it's more a kind of electronic track, the, the way he puts his songs together is very organic. And, uh, Doing projects like this, I think you can really bring, you know, another message to the table, which is um, probably this kind of entertainment format is the best way to present messages as well. I mean, instead of the um, less intuitive process of just sitting and watching a TV, like bringing something alive to a room is really surrounding people in the experience of it and you know not encouraging interaction but it's not uncommon to see that so